All right, kids. So here's what we're working on today. I've only cast these probably nine times at the very least. I and mean, I can't get this lettering to turn out on all of them. I can't, you know, there's a cutout in here that I ended up machining. These have just been a real struggle. So I've 3D printed some stuff and we're gonna try to put something together using these 3D printed parts. Put together a, a pouring setup and Chirpy over at Chirpy's Tinkerings was kind enough to recommend this idea which I think is absolutely brilliant and would have never thought of it, but to use straws. You know, it's just ceramic and it's just a coating, so just as long as, you know, you, you get everything in its place properly and you, and you do all that stuff properly, you know, you can just use straws as your feed, feeders and your end gates. So this is the way this is gonna work, essentially, just not faced in this direction. We're gonna glue this stuff together and, 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 and see how it turns out. I don't, you know, I don't never tried doing anything like this before so I don't I don't know how well this is gonna hold up if these will be strong enough to be dunked in the bucket and swirled around because you have to dunk them and swirl them and then some guys I know take a fine paintbrush and they go around and they brush all of the corners and the edges and, and the whole outside of the part to make sure that it doesn't have any air bubbles or pockets against it and uh, which would cause a defect in the uh, the base of it so I'm gonna get some sandpaper because there's a little bit more sanding that I have to do on the inside of here down in this area um, and as soon as I get these sanded I'll fire you guys back up and we'll, we'll glue these things together it's a really long pouring screw yeah, it's a really long tapered screw although it is tapered I'm not sure if I need that when it comes to this kind of stuff now it's tapered with a giant ball on the end of it. And if you're wondering if that ball is gonna show up on the casting, it absolutely should. Okay, and I'm thinking. probably a mistake. I had plans to wrap this tapered sprue in tape to make it a little touch deeper. I think I'm gonna do that. It's the nice thing about this hot glue. Totally redo it. As soon as those two other ones dry, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go get some painter's tape. What I've noticed is that it's a lot easier to deal with so far than trying to do the plaster of Paris thing and, you know, some people have called it sheetrock mud, but I mean essentially that's, that's realistically that's what it is. So I'm just, just trying to give myself my pouring basin some height here. Um, sorry if my hands are in the way, but that's how I'm going to do it. And then after about the first layer of that ceramic shell, just as long as this is able to seal it out, which I may, may go in here and do some hot glue on the inside of this thing just to give it something to seal against. So it's not going to be the prettiest pouring basin, but at least I've got some height now. At least I can get some volume above these guys. I have a feeling that my biggest problem with these is going to be shrinkage. So I may coat this tapered sprue with extra layers um, and then pack this thing in sand and pour it while the mold is hot to try to help with uh, some of the shrinkage. Try to keep the heat in here so that this can continue to feed from the small pouring basin I have here, which is I know it's not going to be enough for the shrinkage. The amount of shrinkage this mold's going to experience is going to be huge. I can already tell this is going to be a massive screw up. I'm sorry for wasting y'all's time. Maybe I can come in here and put a big thick heavy feeder in between here like a large three quarter inch diameter tube from here to here that way when it fills it can pull from that as well. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the best option is. But that's it. So once this hardens up I'm just going to dip it. Um, actually let's put a, uh, use one of these dudes. This is gonna be heavy once it's once it's cast. I mean, once it's 
I'm doing all this with hot glue, and that's probably a really bad idea because I, I just I don't know how heavy these are going to be once they're totally, totally done. Time for a new hot glue gun. I can tell you guys that. So this doesn't look like Fisher Price, my first project. Good lord, I was cheap at the beginning because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I bought this guy from the dollar store. And I'm sure that later watching these videos, I'm going to wonder why I didn't spend 10 more dollars and get a decent one. Well, at least a more decent one from Walmart or Amazon for God's sakes. I mean, China's on. China's on sells everything now. Just nothing from the US. So that's what it looks like in a nutshell. Okay, so this is the finished product. I know it's a little bit janky looking, but it is what it is. Get over it. I think it's gonna work. So I added these two things. I printed these up last night. I'm calling them shrinkage compensators. So hopefully it's a big, large mass of aluminum that'll help the back side of this. Cause when these shrunk for me in the molds, it always happened on the back side. I'm also concerned about the slot up here um, and the slot and how I'm going to get the sand particles to fall in there and actually hold that shape rigid. Um, but you know, this is an experiment. We'll see what happens. I don't know. You know, I'm just, I'm out here learning just like everybody else is. I'm going to try stuff. Some stuff's going to work. Some stuff isn't. Um, we're going to go from there. All right. So I'm going to dip these. I'm going to dip it, brush everything. Cause last time I know I did end up with some air bubbles on some of the molds. So specifically in here, specifically in the lettering. It'll be brushed and around the corners and I'm gonna try to get my brush down in that slot. And then when I do the sand, I'm gonna to try to sprinkle the sand into that groove, hoping that it'll fill it and actually give their, you know, give their, make there be some stucco that it can stick to. So I'll try to sprinkle it inside there directly. Um, see what happens. I don't know if this is gonna work at all. But we're gonna try it and I'll learn from it. And if it doesn't, then I'll uh, try something different. All right, on to my next project. There's this guy, and then there's these two guys. So I'm going to do two separate videos about this. All right, so this is a card holder for those tap handles that, I, that I'm t that I'm that I'm going to cast next, um, and hopefully they turn out. Um, but as you can see, these are totally hollow. These are just thin shells so i'm definitely planning on heating that mold before i do this casting i'm just not sure how these are going to turn out a little bit worried a little bit nervous and my plan is to use these straws and come up from either the inside or the outside around these corners like this on all four of the corners that way these things can vent and have somewhere to go but i'm definitely going to pour these hot um, I don't want to do it at the, maybe I can do it at the top, set it on a corner like that, and that way it's just a little bit of file work. I'm not sure, I'll figure it out. But that's, that's the plan, that's what I'm doing. Gonna heat up the hot glue gun and then I'll uh, fire you guys back up. So it is hotter than the blue blazes of hell out here, I can assure you of that. Uh, and the humidity is like 97%, so we're going to light this thing and sweat our you-know-what's off together. second time so the first one um, is intact I don't know if it took enough aluminum or not I don't know if my vents were big enough um, the second one as you can see uh, that guy uh, that guy exploded everywhere he didn't explode but he uh, he weeped out everywhere so I highly doubt he's gonna be he's gonna be worth anything so we're gonna let these guys both cool off um, and then I'll fire you back up on the table and we'll see what we got.
Thank you.